Kawasaki Z650 RS, 2022 on, review can be made A2 legal if required. Like the Z900 RS, Kawasaki have really nailed the Z650 RS. Its styling is spot on and the parallel twin motor feels right at home and retro guys whereas a modern naked it is a bit lackluster and behind the game when compared to its rivals. Fun to ride, soulful and with a responsive chassis that certainly doesn't feel old school, there is little not to like. In RS guys it feels as if the Z650 has finally found its identity in life. Ride quality and brakes. Little has changed when it comes to the RS chassis compared to the Z650 and this only works in the RS favor. There has never been anything wrong with the Z's handling and in its retro clothes the fact it has conventional forks works rather than detracts from its curb appeal. Pleasingly light and agile, the RS delivers a thoroughly competent and enjoyable ride quality that is sporty enough for more experienced riders yet not intimidating or flighty for those newer to two wheels. Oddly the seat height on the RS is 30mm taller than the Z at 820mm, but most of this is squish in the deeply padded seat so it doesn't feel too much of a stretch to the ground. If it is, Kawasaki offer the option of a 20mm lower seat for £286.95. Engine The parallel twin is a tried and tested unit and holds no surprises. Exactly the same in terms of its tune and gearing as used on the naked Z650, and also able to be restricted to A2 legal if required, in full power guys it is perfectly suited to life as a modern retro whereas a sporty naked it struggles. Against the likes of the Yamaha MT-07 the Z650's bigger bore engine is a bit slow revving, lumpy and disappointing in its performance, however these very traits only enhance the feel of the RS. On a retro you want a bit of soul and the fact the twin feels more mechanical and less worry gives the RS a lovely bit of old school charm. Okay, the gearbox is a touch clunky, but the fuel injection is perfect, the clutch light and the mid-range drive more than enough for brisk road riding. It's a fun, engaging and easy-going motor, which is bang on for a modern retro. Reliability and build quality. The RS is effectively a Z650 that has been given a retro makeover, which is no bad thing because the Sagome-styled Z has been around since 2017 and despite selling in large numbers has very few reported major issues. The parallel twin engine, which can trace its roots back to the 2005 ER6N, is very robust and hasn't changed dramatically over the years aside from tweaks to ensure it meets new emissions regulations, so all should be well there. Value versus Rivals The parallel twin engine is cheap to run and although Kawasaki claim it can record 65 miles per gallon, it has to be noted that this is a figure gained on the 35 kW restricted version. Owners of the full-power Z650 generally hit closer to 55 miles per gallon in normal riding conditions, which is still very acceptable considering how much fuel now costs. The motor needs servicing every 7,500 miles with a valve clearance check at the 15,000 mile mark. Expect to pay around £300 for a 7,500 mile service and £580 for the valve clearance check service with annual services, oil, filters etc., just £170. Equipment Unlike the Z models, there is no performance edition of the RS, you can buy a full Acra for £1,815.95, and also no Cafe Racer as you used to get with its bigger brother, the Z900 RS, this has been discontinued for 2022 in the UK. So your only options are colors with grey and green costing a £150 premium over black. The bike itself comes with ABS as standard, but no other rider assists, not that it really needs them. The lack of radial brakes and inverted forks is also far less of a styling issue on the retro than the modern Naked Z, so they aren't missed either. The dual dial dash lacks connectivity, the Z's TFT dash has this feature, but it is pleasingly retro and has a fuel gauge. Specs Engine size 649 cubic centimeters Engine type liquid cooled, 8V, parallel twin. Frame type tubular steel trellis. Fuel capacity 12 liters. Seat height 820 millimeters. Bike weight 187 kilograms. Front suspension 41 millimeters, telescopic forks, non adjustable. Rear suspension, single rear shock, adjustable preload. Front brake 2 by 300 mm discs with two piston caliper. ABS. Rear brake 220 mm single disc with single piston caliper. Front tire size 12070X17. 
Rear tire size 16060X17. MPG, costs and insurance. Average fuel consumption 55 miles per gallon. Annual road tax 101 pounds. Annual service cost 140 pounds. New price 7,700 pounds. Used price 7,300 to 7,700 pounds. Insurance group. How much to insure? Warranty term 2 years. Top speed and performance. Max power 67 brake horsepower. Max torque 47.2 FTLB. Top speed 120 miles per hour. A quarter mile acceleration. Tank range 180 miles.